Hey guys, how's it going? So I was kind of running out of video ideas to make and then just as I was thinking that, literally two minutes before I'm like, oh man, I can't really think of anything. This appears. Hey Brandon, I'm a really big fan of this Like A Pro series of yours. I don't know if you take suggestions, but if you do, I got one. Normally I'm pretty bad at these, but we're gonna make an exception. How to deal with string tension on a freestyle or on stage. Because when I practice, there are some tricks that needs to take care of string tension, but I don't understand how pro players deal with those tricks at the middle of a long freestyle. I mean, how do you guys be able to do those slack tricks after long combos? My string always gets messy and I need to deal with it before doing those tricks. So can you make a video about that? Thank you for the amazing contents. So how this video is for you. So this is how to adjust your string tension, but, but how to do it like a pro. So it should be noted, I've made a video on how to adjust string tension before, and I still think that's a pretty good video. If you guys wanna watch that, you can go definitely click it in the card there. But this is gonna take it a step further. So if you've gone and watched that video, you understand how string tension works. You understand between a tight and a loose yo-yo string, you understand how to neutralize your, your, your string tension. However, Hal's question was very specific, and it was like, how do you do this within a freestyle? Now, if you haven't watched the original video, I definitely recommend you watch that, because I'm not gonna go through some of the finer details, but I'll do a little bit here. But essentially, there are two states your string can be in. If they're far apart, that's loose, and if it's close together, it's tight. When you are at a freestyle, and you're doing your tricks, and you're going, and you're doing all this stuff, and you're throwing it repeatedly again and again. What's happening is that the yo-yo is rotating every single time. So it's going one, two, three, four. And what that's doing is it's tightening your yo-yo string. So then how do the pros ensure that their string tension remains neutral throughout the entire freestyle? Now the first tip, in general the most important tip out of this entire thing, is that just make sure that you're competing with fresh strings. When you have a completely newly changed fresh string, it's gonna be super nice, it's gonna hold its tension for a lot longer, and you're not gonna have to adjust it as often um, as, as a string that's been worn out a little bit. So, so that would be my first tip how. Generally, replace your string 10 to 20 minutes before your freestyle. The next part is integrating tricks that loosen your string. Allow me to explain. Um, for instance, Hiroyuki Suzuki, he's got this horizontal combo, right? He'll do stuff like that, and then he'll just randomly go right? Something that most people don't notice is that he's got that trick, but you'll notice he never does it at the beginning of the freestyle. Say my string tension is perfect, right? And then I go do that trick, and I'll be like, down, and then up. That's gonna loosen my yo-yo string, okay? See, it's gonna do that. Now, it's not very strategic to do that at the very beginning of the freestyle, because if you're doing it right, your string tension should be neutralized at the very beginning of the freestyle anyway. So, so it doesn't make sense to do that. However, once you've been throwing the yo-yo around, you've done a few combos, you, you, you're tearing it up, and you know, you're getting to that point where you're kind of like, oh, my string's a little bit loose, and you schedule a trick like this in the middle of the freestyle, and you're just like, whoa, whoa, and then boom, and you put it back up. Because of where that trick is placed, all of a sudden, haha, my string tension's now pretty good. That's the first trick. Integrate some sort of trick that involves a loosening string tension uh, within the middle of your freestyle, and that's gonna allow you to kind of do the rest of your slap tricks as your string tension remains relatively neutral. Now, obviously it's not always practical to have some sort of um, tension relieving trick inside your freestyle, like what if you miss the trick, or what if you just don't have one of those tricks? How do you adjust your tension mid freestyle then? Well, I recommend using the unresponsive sidewind. It, it should be noted, there are a multitude of ways to adjust string tension. There are things like this, there are things like that, like this, now the problem with all those ways is that they're time consuming. Let's say you're just about to do your crazy speed combo and then you've got a slack trick next and, and you're like, oh wait, hold on, one sec, I've got to adjust my string tension and then you, you get into your slack trick. You, you're gonna miss the slack trick. So the unresponsive sign wind is really good because what it allows you to do is do it from a throw. 
So for those of you who don't know what this unresponsive sidewinder looks like, it looks like this. This, or this. Okay. If you do it from a forward style throw, this way tightens it, and if you do it from an unresponsive throw, this way loosens it. Now I'm going to show you a clip from Polo's AP 2018 freestyle, right? Now he's a guy that does a lot of these slack tricks and he's doing a bunch of other things. Watch this. <laughs> That's a sidewinder. Now the reason Polo did that trick is because he was in a time crunch. He was doing the other trick and he was like, hmm, hmm, my string is a little bit tight. You know, it's a little bit tight right now. I, I want to loosen it, but you know, he, he didn't go in and be like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna loosen my, my yo-yo string. He didn't have time for that because the, the next music cue was gonna happen. So you'll notice it would be like, boom, boom, boom. And it's like, oh crap, all right, just get that real quick and then, oh. And then all of a sudden, oh, the string tension's fixed. And it's something really, really small. It's something really small that no one breaks down. But, but that is how pros do it. Now, I should make a point that if you have to adjust your string tension within a freestyle, um, generally you're not using fresh strings, so use fresh strings first. But in the scenario where you have to do it and you have to hit that music cue, this is how you do it. So, now that I've created that hype, how do you do this sidewinder? Start off, with a breakaway. Then you land into the undermount and then from the undermount what you're gonna do is you're gonna bind it, right? But instead of binding it normally, you go into bind and then you're going to kind of pull the yo-yo down and you're going to pull it back, right? Now I'm exaggerating a little bit but this is how it's gonna look. You're gonna pull it back, right? Down and then back. Then what you're gonna do is with your throw hand you're kind of gonna create this zigzag motion. So as one arm goes back, the other one goes forward. So it should be kind of like at a crossroads. So if, from a side angle, it, it should look like that, right? And as I pull this back, I'm gonna pull this forward, and you create that little, that little kind of sidewinder effect. And what that sidewinder effect does is it loosens the string. And, and as I said before, when you're in this freestyle and you're just doing tricks and you're just going through normal stuff, the default, what's going to happen is it's going to tighten up your string. So in a crunch, the most common thing you're going to need to do to your string tension is loosen the string tension. Now just in case you want to tighten it, you can also do something like that, where you pull the hand back and, and that creates the, the tightness of the effect. So, the other one, you put your hand forward and that loosens it. The other one, you push your hand back and that tightens it. All right, cool. Now that does take a little bit of effort because it actually takes some skill to be able to do this at the end of a combo, you know? It, you're not gonna be thinking about that too much. So an easier way I like to do that can be very quickly integrated um, is, is just via a sleeper. And then what you can do is you can launch it across this way or you can launch it across that way. And generally just launching it up one or two times, um, that you can generally do that fast enough to get to the next thing, but you might have to sacrifice one or two elements. If you guys want me to break down exactly how I'm doing this and how I'm doing that, you can go watch the previous video because I've uh, already made a video. So these are all things on how you create and have a solid string tension throughout your freestyle without making it too obvious that you're constantly adjusting it. So to reiterate, First tip, get a fresh string. Like honestly, fresh strings, they hold their tension a lot better. Second tip is integrate some sort of loosening trick within the middle of your freestyle. Hiroki Suzuki does that, Brandon Vu does that. Yes, I refer to myself in third person. And if you don't want to integrate something like that, you can always kind of just do a sneaky sidewinder to loosen it and then do your next throw. And then if that, you know, that's not your style, you can sacrifice a little bit of time and just adjust the string tension with, uh, with the inward pull or the outward pull. But, but those are generally how you do it. So, so there, that, that well and truly is how to adjust your string tension, but doing it like a pro. Uh, shout outs to Hal for asking me this question and giving me an idea to make for the rest of you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Any comments, questions, criticisms, post them down below. I'm also kind of running low on video ideas, so if you got more video ideas, post them down below, and I will see you guys next time.